I would like to present to you this 2011 Infiniti G37 XS Coupe. To best put the G37 in context, Infiniti is Nissan's luxury division in North America and Europe, and the Infiniti G series was the compact luxury class since 1990. The two numbers after the letter G correspond to the engine size in deciliters. For example, the G20 has a 20 deciliter engine, and the G37 has a 37 deciliter engine. Like most Infinities, the G was derived from some of Nissan's more premium cars sold in Japan. The first two generations were rebadged versions of the front-wheel drive Nissan Primera. For 2003, the Infiniti G returned, this time as a rebadged version of the 11th generation JDM Nissan Skyline, which was rear-wheel drive based. It proved to be very successful. You can even argue that it put Infiniti on the map. It spawned this V36 4th generation model, which again was arrived from the Skyline at the time. The 4th gen came out for 2007 for the sedan and 2008 for the coupe. Although the 2008 coupe received the 3.7 liter V6 before the sedan did in 2009. All 09 g models replaced the 5 speed automatic transmission with the 7 speed unit. The G can be had as a sedan, a hardtop convertible, or a coupe like this one. For the 2010 model year, the G has received a facelift with an updated front fascia, wheels, instrumentation, infotainment system, center console, and more features. The G37 comes in six trims, Base, Journey, X, S, XS like this one, and IPL. The X models have all-wheel drive, and the S versions stand for Sport. The sport package for the all-wheel drive versions are called the G37XS, and they include a more aggressive front bumper, side sills, darkened headlights, 19-inch wheels, bigger brakes, sport-tuned suspension, the viscous limited slip differential, or VLSD, and steering column mounted magnesium shift paddles. Please note that all-wheel drive sedans do not get the VLSD, the sport-tuned suspension, or the brake upgrade. G37s that are not equipped with the VLSD are instead equipped with a feature called Active Brake Limited Slip. This feature will use the rear brakes to simulate a limited slip differential if it detects lack of grip on one of the rear wheels. For rear-wheel drive models, the sport package adds on top of that tighter steering ratio, staggered wheels, and an optional 6-speed manual. IPL stands for Infinity Performance Line and it's only available for the coupe and convertible. On top of the rear-wheel drive G37S, it has even sportier styling, sportier suspension tuning, and a power increase. After the 2013 model year, the G37 sedan was succeeded by the Q50, but the G37 sedan was still offered for 2015, but renamed as the Q40. For 2014, the G37 coupe and convertible were renamed as the Q60, and redesigned for 2017. Though this 4th gen G is still popular for its great combination of luxury and performance, as well as its tuning potential, it's arguably even more popular than its replacements. Not to mention, this all-wheel drive version gives this car in particular an all-weather dynamic that is very comfortable. The Infiniti G remains a very desirable car in the used car market. The G37 is powered by Nissan and Infiniti's VQ37 VHR engine that is a 3.7 liter naturally aspirated V6. The coupe makes 330 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, 269 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 RPM, and it revs all the way up to 7,500 RPM. This modified car makes 270 horsepower to the wheels, and with this car being all-wheel drive, it makes 444 horsepower assuming a 20% drivetrain loss. Like the Nissan 370Z, which the G37 shares a lot with mechanically, it rides on the FM platform, or front midship. 
This means the engine is actually placed in between the front and rear axles, which technically classifies this as a front mid-engine car. Infinity says the G37 is good for a near 50-50 weight balance front to rear. The FM platform also allows each wheel to be placed as close to the car's corners as possible, which also improves handling. The G comes in either rear-wheel drive or with the Atessa ETS all-wheel drive system. Atessa ETS is an acronym for Advanced Total Traction Engineering System for All-Terrain with Electronic Torque Split. This basically means the all-wheel drive system normally sends all engine torque to the rear wheels by default, and depending on how much slippage it detects, it can send up to 50% of its torque to the front wheels. In 2007 and 2008, the G came with a 5-speed automatic transmission or a 6-speed manual transmission for rear-wheel drive S models. For 2009 models and beyond, the manual option remained, but the 5-speed automatic was replaced with a 7-speed automatic transmission with auto rev matching on downshifts. The 7-speed actually adapts its behavior based on how the owner drives their car. It should be capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, and the top speed is electronically limited to 148 miles per hour. Of course, this modified car would be considerably faster. For the audio portion of this video, keep in mind that this car is equipped with NVIDIA test pipes, a muffler delete, and a Z1Y pipe. It makes this car a lot louder and makes the exhaust tone much deeper as well. Every G37 comes with Infinity's Intelligent Access Key, but you don't actually have to press the buttons on the key. You can leave it in your pocket or person. Push this black button to lock the doors, and then you can tap it once to unlock it, and tap it twice in a rapid succession to unlock both of the doors. To turn on the vehicle's accessories, hit the start button once. And then press it once again to turn on the rest of the accessories. Push it once more to turn it off. But to start the engine, put your foot on the brake and then hit the start stop button. In case the key ever goes dead, you could stick it in this slot right here. controls over here and your power mirrors. Also has two position memory for the driver's seat and mirrors. You can enable and disable traction control for your trunk release and for the parking sensors. You have your adjustments for your side bolsters on the sport model. It has a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. And notice how the instrument panel actually moves with the steering column. Have your trip computer.
you have radio controls right here. This can control some of the functions on the infotainment system. You have your hand sweep controls, as well as screws control. Headlights are fully automatic. You have intermittent speed wipers. This model has the navigation package. As you can see, here's your map. You can input a destination. It also has live traffic updates. You can zoom in and out. You can control the screen with this selector right here or by touch. This is for your phone. You can adjust various settings to information about fuel economy. You can also set maintenance reminders. This is for your settings. It comes with AM, FM, and satellite radio. It also has Bluetooth streaming audio, and you can connect it with your aux port as well. So I have radio, radio controls right here. It has a six disc CV changer. It also has dual zone automatic climate control. Power alert right here. You can drive this car in three different modes. Right now you're in regular drive mode. If you move it to the left, it puts you in drive sport mode, which will hold the revs longer and it will rev match on downshifts. And you can either use the selector or the magnesium shift paddles to put it in manual mode. And if you put the car in reverse, it comes with a reverse camera with guidance lines with trajectory based on which way the steering wheel is pointed. It has heated front seats and snow mode for the all-wheel drive system, which would lock the torque split 50-50. Cup holders, this right here is leather wrap. USB outlet right here, also has a power outlet. dimming rear view mirror with a garage door opener and then you have the sunroof if you have the key on you you can just tap this button right here to pop the trunk open. And this is the fold the rear seats down as well. All right, so that's gonna conclude my complete overview on this 2011 Infiniti G37 XS Coupe. Please follow the links down below to support my channel and please subscribe today. Thank you.